of concern to Americans. Andy Roddick against Paradorn Shrishapan. You may remember Shrishapan. He was the player from Thailand last year who eliminated Andre Agassi. But right now, they're getting ready on court one for the agassi Philippousis match. Here's a look at center court where Andy Roddick is underway in his attempt to make the Wimbledon quarterfinals. This is the first time he's made the round of 16 with the hat on, serving to Paradorn Srishapan of Thailand. They're on serve in the beginning of their match. Srishapan's an incredible story. Someone beat Agassi here last year. We bring you back into center court. We continue our live coverage in the Eastern Time Zone as Andy Roddick serves for the first set at 30 love and now triple set point against Paradorn Srishapan from Thailand, just shy of his 24th birthday. Today's center court belongs to Roddick. And he has captured the first set. And now we swing back to court one, where Six Andre Agassi faces a different battle. Swish Our coverage five, from Wimbledon continues on NBC Live for those of you in the Eastern time zone. And we're moving back into center court now, where Paradorn Srishapan from Thailand become a hero in Asia after his win over Andre Agassi here last year. And he has been just the second man to break serve on Andy Roddick at this Wimbledon. He did it once here, and that puts him in position to serve for the second set. 15 love. Fifteen all. So popular is this man that he's been on the cover of Asian Time magazine. Yeah. He's met with all the royalty. Well, it's actually a, a, his good fortune that the king 30. of Thailand happens to be a huge tennis fan. Yeah. Couldn't believe he met him. <laughs> He's the first guy, Mary, in April. There's the picture that Mary was referring to. That reads Asian player that reached the top ten in the, since the op the rankings uh, uh, rankings were introduced. That's 30 years they've waited the Asians to get a top ten player. He's he's dropped a little bit since that time in April. That's got to be very very inspiring inspiring for people from Thailand all around that area. Get out in the tennis court. Full teeth. Here's his chance now. Sri Shifan is a very observant Buddhist, and luckily for him, he's staying in the Wimbledon village, and there's a temple a couple of minutes away. And he goes there every morning, and there's monk mania now for Sri The monks are going crazy. <laughs> the monks are going crazy. Well, how about this? Roddick had only been broken once in three matches. Srishapan breaks him. There's a huge tie contingent, as you can see, sitting on center court. And that's level at a set apiece. That was the uh, demise of the big guns that day. Agassi went down. Pete Sampras went down. Murat Safin last year. This is Roddick with a 2-1 lead now. Love for 10. In the third set, one set all. Trouble. <laughs> Huge trouble on his loss. He's, had, he's been struggling on his serve, but he's in front. Now love 15. Shot spot confirming that ball, just catching the line. Shu <laughs> Japan comes back with a good first serve and an eye chopper. 
15 all. Correction, by the way, 15 times Roddick's been in. He's lost three. And he's won 12 of those. And for Sri Chapin, six and four. Six wins, four losses at the net. Almost all of those points won by Roddick, though, were off big forehands and coming in. I mean, I can't remember too many of them where he actually hit volleys. That Sir Volley point the last game is Roddick with a good dipper here. This is where the course is quite slippery around the net because the players haven't been up there that much. It's still pretty green. Let's go to this. Yeah, to, well, all that brown that you see close to the net is Tim Henman. <laughs> He's the only guy. Ivo Karlovich on the first day when he right. took out uh, Leighton Hewitt. Right. Let's listen. And Trishapan. Trishapan is holding his serve now easier than Roddick and uh, as you said Patrick this is now the first serious test for the number five seed and uh, the favorite of the bookies here in London five break points against him in this set already Another serve volley play there from Roddick. Didn't get up quickly enough for that overhead play to Good's first volley. Another miss hit and another struggle on his serve game here at 15.30. First serve percentages under 60% yeah, for run. That's got to be the first time in the tournament, Cliff. Uh -huh. The stat that's even more problematic is that he's winning just 45% of his second serve points. Sri Chapin's serve numbers are actually more solid. But Roddick holds on. On serve, he's got his nose in front, but no breaks. 3-2, third set, one apiece. Center court at Wimbledon, round of 16. Championships at Wimbledon in the first day, second week. And a warm welcome back. 4-6 first set, and then Paradon Sri Chapin won the second. We're on serve. He trails in the third to three. Got a couple of rain delays, but now the sun's out. And we got a nice clear patch for a while here.
Free Japan finished last year very strongly. Did well at uh, the end of the summer winning at Long Island, which is one of the warm up tournaments before the U.S. Open. Reached a final last summer in uh, Washington, losing to James Blake there. Oh, he missed that. 30 15. 30 15. One Chennai to start off this year, the way he ended last year when he won in Stockholm. But uh, after reaching the semis cliff in, in Miami at the uh, NASDAQ 100, Sri Chapin didn't win two matches back to back until here. He really struggled on the clay. And didn't play particularly well in the two grass court tournaments. But uh, has found his game here after two tough five setters to get to this fourth round match. Crucial stage of the match here now to set all two, three, thirty all. Sri Chapin's had a bunch of break points in this set. The defense by Roddick, and now he has his first break point of this third set. It only took one break, break of serve in each of the first two sets to decide it. This is uh, only his third chance of the match. His favorite shot, the forehand, and he hit it pretty short, and that allowed Sri Chapin to take the first big cut at the ball. Roddick's going to run around and hit that forehand. He's got to try to do something with it. Consistent, but it's the forehand side where Roddick can and does do the damage. And you give him a chance, he'll run around the back end any chance he gets. And that's why I think if he does get a look at the second serve cliff on the forehand, he's got to go for it. Doesn't mean go for a clean winner, but play an aggressive return. Big moment right here. Japan giving Roddick a couple of freebies here. Now Roddick with his third break point of this game.
is. No, there's just a lot of tension out there now. Pretty tame, netted forehand, but then he was given the opportunity by a relatively tame one from Sri Japan. So spare a thought for the dynamics of this moment. Two, three, third set, set a piece. There is just a lot at stake, and they both know it. Good, That's smart right. play. Sri Chapin's tried the drop shot numerous times, trying to get Roddick out of position into a place where normally he's not that comfortable, but he's a lot more comfortable now. Roddick moving up to that drop shot, played the smart ball up the line, kept it low. Gilbert's going to get up, too. He realizes the, the, the tension in these last few games from both guys. Yeah, Roddick has been down on his serve, able to hold on. Now, the first break, and we'll see if that's going to be lethal. Question here for you, uh, Patrick. Everyone, this is from Joe Boganum in New York. Everyone's talking about how uh, this is Andy Roddick's coming out party, that he's ready for the next step, but he's gotten further in three other Majors, 2001, mm -hmm. 2002 opens down under this year. W what's the difference? Good Why question. That's no, a good question. Why think, are we all talking about him now? I think it's. I think it's his demeanor. Now I think in uh, the obviously grass helps him because of the, his big sir. A drop volley there from Trishaben, but for me it's more of Roddick's attitude. You know, it, 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 it looks to me that he's just, he's just a more confident player. He believes in his game more. You know, he believe, I'm not sure, despite the fact that he did so well at the Open, U.S. Open, I mean, and the Australian, that, that he really believed he was good enough yet. Now, whether or not that's going to happen here is another question, but I think he, he thinks that it can happen. 15. And I think that's why I... I say I think he's ready to do it and have more conviction than, than maybe we did last year or even at the Australian. But he's definitely struggling in this match. 15, 15. And again, continuing to struggle on serve. As you see his points served and serve points lost. And much more of a struggle as this match has gone on. Another big point, his second serve at 15. 30. Oh, what a kick serve there. I guess what I'm trying to say, Patrick, is in the first set, you figure he gets the break and, you know, he's home free. But now, <laughs> as much as he struggled here, I'm not so sure anymore. That's the service. He's got the break. He's got to consolidate it. Oh. Forty thirty. And that's uh, Brad Gilbert saying, nice approach. That's because uh, he, that's what he wants to see Roddick doing, taking that forehand and, and flattening it out. Not trying to hit so much spin on it, but use that weapon. Oh, and that works. It sure does. It's a change of play, expecting another drop volley. That's what Trisha Pan was looking for, but he hit a very good one. He's up 5-2. 5-2 to Roddick. 
One break. Trisha Pandasurf played a pretty slack game on his last serve game. Trisha Pan did to lose it. Well, Rada came up with some good defensive stuff, and Trisha Pan felt the pressure as that it was a long game. Finally, Rada capitalized. What was it? His fourth or fifth break point. But... Yep. After Roddick had faced a lot of break mm -hmm. points in the serve game before that. Fifth ace there for Paradorn. Make that six. Roddick hoping for a call. Two points from the set for Andy Roddick after that double, which is the only the first for Trisha Pan. Four to your first. to Roddick is Roddick you're gonna have to earn it has not lost his serve in this set but he, he has not been that easy for him it's an understatement anyway here's Roddick to go up two sets to one it look easy Roddick that one there he had to run up for that that was a pretty good adjustment he made from low he just gives it a little extra flip there of the racket he's got tremendous uh, racket speed cliff and wrist action one of the reasons when he hurt uh, hurt one of his wrists at the Australian Open it was a real concern for him that's a mention for me in Davis Cup <laughs> didn't have him in our first round match, which of course ended up being a loss to Croatia. Big serve, so Roddick, triple set point now. 136 mile an hour serve. Hello, oh. hello. <laughs> uh, you gotta love his smile after just taking a cut at this one. 14, 15. It's like batting practice. Tell me you're gonna throw the fastball right here <laughs> and I'll just swing at it as hard as I can. Point is 40 30 now. 40 30. Uh, let's, let's see. Correction. That's six games to three. And Roddick has won the third set.
Two sets to one for the number. Andy Roddick leading by two sets to one. Very close on that serve. Another look. A nice look from uh, behind. You see that torque in that shoulder. It looked like Full it tight. just caught. Let's see what Shot Spot says. And that just barely nicked the line. But guess what, Cliff? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Trisha Pan with that slice backhand. Love 15. It's the first time he's brought that out, Roddick, and that ball just stayed very low. I'm not sure he shouldn't uh, hit a few more of those, really, just to change things up a little bit because the two hander never wins him any points. I mean, it, to me, you know, people talk about his backhand being so terrible. I don't think it's bad, but it does not win him any points, really. He just. It keeps the ball in play. It's a neutralizing type shot, and we've seen him hit some good passing shots with the two-hander throughout this tournament. Which is something that he struggled with in the past. But if he hits the slice and, and mixes it up a mm -hmm. little bit, I think that'd be a good play. I'll mention that to Brad. <laughs> okay. I'm sure, he'll take that into consideration. Yes, he will. Very responsive to yes, everybody's suggestion. That's for sure. Paradorn was there. It was the right shot by Roddick. Bunted up the line, but Paradorn at full stretch. He just barely was able to control that one. Got the couple weapons that Roddick has, Cliff, though, with the serve and the forehand. If, if, if you can, you don't have to necessarily win a lot of points with their backhand, but if you can defend it and keep it consistent, you know, Pete Sampras didn't win that many points outright with his backhand. He was able to connect on that one up the line when he was really feeling it, but he basically used the backhand to keep the ball deep back in play. The first game of the fourth to Shrishapan, the third set. Uh, was touch and go for Andy Roddick for a while. He saved numerous break points early in the set. This backhand pass, talked about the two-hander from Roddick, and uh, a lot of tough long points. Roddick even mixing it up, serving and volleying a couple times in that third set. And Shrishapan started to make him play more and more on the serve. But at the end, Roddick able to get the break. Towards the end of the set, use that one-two punch, serve forehand, and win it 6-3. But uh, that that was by far the toughest set of the three. Yes. And the other, well, you look at the score and they go routine, but that 6-3 set was a lot of long games and tough points. And as you mentioned earlier, Sri Chapin has been in this situation a couple of times in this tournament already he's played two five set matches he's pretty fit though he's he's uh, one of the fitter guys out there
How about that shot right there? What's better than that? Center court, a little blue sky. Second Monday. Oh, got away there a couple of times now. One apiece. And one set all. One game all. Yeah, perfect conditions for now, and a, a, a look at uh, this wonderful complex and some of the surroundings. Again, it's, a, it's amazing. With every single one of the courts, if you look at all the outer courts, they all are worn around the baseline. <laughs> every one of them. <laughs> And then check this out. But look at all the look at all the outer courts here. You can draw now. The tell look at my telestrator here. Let's see if it works. There we go. There's that one. Back of the court. Back of the court. Clear it. You know, over here. It's all around the baseline area. That's where it's all happening. I just think it's so interesting that. Uh, that did not used to be the case at all. There was a transition place there, and then there was a lot of brown close to the net. You can no see more. the you can see the line from the server moving forward. Thirteen fifteen. First of all, you're great at the Telestrator, by the way. But <laughs> Thanks. It's amazing uh, how different the game is now. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's really amazing. When you think about how it was all seven volley on grass. Uh, if anybody stayed That's back on grass, they were just cannon fodder for the real grass court players. No more break point huge here. 1-1, one, one, fourth set. Roddick's only been broken once in the match. Game, Roddick. Well, that may do it. We'll find out early stages, of course. Roddick 2-1 in the fourth. And two sets to one also. The famous center court here at Wimbledon, 2 1. Andy Roddick just got the break over Paradorn Sri Chopin. Sri Chopin is from Thailand, had a very good end to last year, had a good start to this year on the tour, then a slump, but now he's here in the last 16. Playing Roddick for a place in the last eight and a clean winning swat to turn 15 off. Now he may have to take some chances now, Sri Chopin, and get back in this match. That's a nice approach, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Uh, nice and low, and Sri Chopin's got pretty big swings. He hasn't handled the slice too well. And it's a good time to do it. You're serving your upper break. Your opponent's the guy under pressure if you're Andy Roddick. So make him keep continue to come up with shots. Like there. 40, 50. And I think that's where Roddick's maturing, just sort of before our eyes, Cliff, and the way he's playing, playing points at, at certain situations. He's playing the score better. When you're ahead, play, you know, continue to move forward, but make the guy hit the pass. Don't go for the clean winner. 
That game. time, oh. even that's a safe shot. It's in the middle of the court. Don't do more than you have to. Started well, in Australia against Usney, didn't it? He came back a huge debt. Two sets down he was, wasn't he? Yeah, it was two sets down and uh, I mean, won that on a hot day. And, and then those heroics against Ellen Nowy. After Ellen Nowy had beaten uh, Leighton Hewitt. 3 1. But then getting back to this yeah. match, I mean, we were both saying it, Patrick, that. There was a crucial stage there in the third set, mm -hmm. one set all. And at that point, my own feeling was that the momentum was slightly behind Sri Chapin. And the question was, how is Roddy going to be able to handle it? And so far, he's come through fine. Yeah, he kept his nerve about him. You know, things weren't going perfectly smoothly on his own serve. And in the past, in the past that's where Roddick has gotten frustrated. Now it's Sri Chapin who's frustrated, who's trying to do more. Made those couple of errors finally to give Roddick the break in the middle of that third set. And now Roddick has a chance to to win this four set very easily if he can get another break. that long and he's trying to create a little bit more than he wants to Roddick's consistency from the baseline is paying off he's getting a lot of balls back in play Another miss on the forehand. Another clean return from Roddick. And this is as good as a match point. He'd have uh, Roddick with two break points in insurance break in the second, notwithstanding he's relatively early in the set. Two breaks with Roddick's serve should be enough. That's not the time for that. The match is over for you now, Paradorn. Oh, that's stupid. He had plenty of time to get back and hit that. Roddy's got another break. He served for one in the third. For fourth, excuse me. Santa Cruz at the championships. 4-1, Andy Roddick, USA. Two sets to one. Winning the first set and going down in the second to Paradon Sri Chapin, Thailand. Let's go service. Now Roddick can just go for those big serves up two breaks. There's another one. That's 134, ace number 12 for Roddick. Oh, that's the kind of serve game you want. Four bombs. And you're one game away now if you're Andy Roddick. Well, by five From a quarterfinal appearance at Wimbledon. Has a nice ring to it, doesn't yeah. it? Not quite as good as a winner, but quarterfinals. Not bad. It's been a two-time quarterfinals at the U.S. Open, a semi-finalist at the Australian. Earlier this year.
Roddick was almost not playing that. 15 love. Baseline shot on the back edge of the line. 30 love for Shishapan, but 5 1 Roddick. And two First sets enough. to one. Be, uh, surprised if Roddick would do uh, Gonzalez on this puncher Gonzalez great server in his time now deceased but often if puncher got up a break he just goes through the motions <laughs> on uh, his opponent's serve another fellow who had some success here did a little bit of that too Pete Sampras mm. true Seven-time Wimbledon champ. successful as they've been on that you've got to wonder why there's not more of it I know this is not a modern way to play on grass or on any surface for that matter but some of it Shrishapan holds on but that's not his problem his problem is he's down two breaks and Roddick to serve at 5-2 this moment that the crowd sense that they don't have much longer. And it's a nice moment, this, for a guy like Roddick with his huge serve. For the match. 15 long. Match point for Andy Roddick. Moments in six that four. third, Great second, six, and third six, set, but six two. This clip is why I think he's ready to win a major. The maturity, oh, look at this nice reaction from both guys. A lot of class from these two. Yeah, he was tested seriously, Andy Roddick. He was seriously tested in the second and then the third sets. Beaten in the second, close in the third. Down on his serve, not once, but a number of times, as Paradon Shrishapan bows, tie fashion, to all four corners of this center court at Wimbledon. Nice moment. But when the dust settles, it's Andy Roddick, the number five seed, and again, he's the man that the bookies think is going to win Wimbledon. Never won a slam, never been further than a semi-final. This year's Australian. But he is in the last eight at Wimbledon.
There is no more bowing to the Royal Box officially here at Wimbledon, but Pat Adorn, Shushapan, in Thai fashion, takes his Ladies final bow. Ladies and gentlemen, bow. in the interest of security, if you leave your seat, please make sure you Six for to Roddick in the first, then Shushapan won the second. Roddick struggled but won the first behind one break and then ran away with it in the fourth. Shushapan down and out. Roddick still alive at this year's Wimbledon.